you are easily influenced by social media or the regular media and you're emotional, you definitely should not invest. Naturally, I disagree with this comment wholeheartedly. My name is Kenneth and I teach my nearly half a million social media followers, that's crazy to say, how to invest trade stocks if you're interested and live below your means. I actually have a free investing course right over here. All you gotta do is go right here. You can read my blog posts if you want, but what you're really after is the menu right here. All this stuff is totally free. I get comments like this every once in a while. If you're too emotional, you shouldn't invest. If you're easily influenced, you shouldn't invest. If you can't do basic math, you shouldn't invest. Investing is for everybody, not just the elite, not just the 1%, not just the ones who can do math, not just the ones who can shut down their emotions, and relax and see the big picture. Investing is for everyone. The goal isn't to just say, you shouldn't invest. Instead, the goal is to learn how to control your emotions and relax. If you are a new investor and you only just started investing within the last few weeks or even few months, seeing a really big day in the markets where everything drops a thousand points can be really, really scary. But it's not a reason to panic. Please, whatever you do, don't panic. I was live this morning on TikTok and somebody came in and said, I panicked yesterday and I sold half of my long-term investments. Please don't do that. By the way, his investments are generally seen as many of the safest investments you can have. Index funds. This is the S&P 500 around the year 2000. And you can see right here that it's around, I don't know, 1500 points. And a few years later, look at that. It just tumbles all the way down to 800 points and then it goes up to 1500 and then it tumbles again. And in this moment, this looks terrifying. But just take a look at what it ends up doing. Imagine buying here at the top and everyone's laughing at you. Oh, I can't believe you bought into the markets at all time highs, you're an idiot. Look at that. Also imagine buying here, thinking it's all time highs and then the market tanks and you panic and you sell and you never invest again. You miss out on all of this. I know it's really, really scary when we're talking about your hard earned money but you have to remember that the stock market and investing in index funds like S&P 500s aren't meant to be one week, one month, or one year investments. They're meant to be held for 10, 20, or 30 years. So I know short term, it looks scary, but you have to remember why you're investing. If you do not feel comfortable investing in individual stocks, that is okay. Index funds and ETFs are considerably safer long term. The goals for you as an investor are to find what makes you comfortable and remember that you're in this for a very long time. Social media and the regular media love to get ratings. How do they get ratings? Do they get it by saying, hey, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. No, of course not. They bring on everyone who screams, it's over, it's ending. The longer you invest, the more you realize that big down days like this are no reason at all to panic. It's actually maybe a great buying opportunity. All right, smash that follow. Thanks for watching. See you later.